hey guys what's up welcome to our channel linux temple and today i'm going to present you a complete tutorial on how to install the latest fedora 34 on your computer and also you can apply the same method for other versions of fedora as well and we'll start with the very basic thing we'll start with creating a bootable usd drive and then we'll install fedora on our computer and if you are only familiar with creating a bootable usd drive you can directly jump into the installation process see the timestamps so first we are going to create a bootable usb so for this you'll need a minimum of 4 gb usb drive where we are going to write the fedora iso so let's begin okay and here i'm using windows 10 so two things we need to download first and they are the fedora iso and the roofers so first we are going to download fedora so go to web browser and go to the address getfedora.org getfedora.org and there you can download fedora workstation so here we can download and also we have the server version an iot but we are going to download workstation fedora workstation so just click on download now and there you have different options since we are going to use it on our PC, hence click on download. So downloading is started, but I'm going to cancel this since I've already downloaded this. And the next thing that you need to download is Rufus. So type Rufus in the source bar and then go to the first link, Rufus Downloads. And there you have different options for download so i recommend you to click on the first link and then and there you can download rufus since i've already downloaded this so i'm not going to download this again so here in the desktop i have these two files here inside this folder you can see the fedora workstation iso fedora 34 iso and next rufus so to make a portable usb First insert a USB in a system and then run Rufus. Yes. Okay, so here is our Rufus. So in the first you have to select the device which is the only USB available of 16 GB. Just select this and then you need to select the ISO. So here in the desktop we have this ISO. So select this ISO. Okay, and then leave everything as it is. And then click on the start. Click on OK. Yes. And there we have a warning that all the data will be deleted which are inside the USB drive so click on OK it will write the ISO file in the selected USB so now I'm done with writing the ISO file into the USB so next I'm going to restart my computer and then I'll boot my computer from the USB drive and I have restarted my laptop to enter boot menu I'm pressing F9 here since I'm using SP laptop and if you are using Acer you have to press F12 so the key may vary according to different laptop brand so I'm going to choose external USB drive so this is going to boot Fedora Let's start Fedora So you can try Fedora before installing by clicking simply on try Fedora since we are going to install now. So click on install Fedora. So here you have to select the language and here's the main thing that you need to select the disk where you want to write where you want to install Fedora 34. So there I have three options, 
the one is installation medium and the two different they are hard disks in your case probably you have only one hard drive available and click on custom done okay and there you have to create some partitions so for this you need to click on the plus icon at the bottom and first we are going to create a boot partition which is a EFI partition so select boot EFI and the capacity so 500 MB is more than enough so select 500 add so here we have created a boot partition and next we are going to create a root partition so select the first one and then enter the desired capacity for root partition so I'm going to enter around 20 GB but I recommend you to use more than 30 GB and then done similarly you can create different partition for home and swap also but that's not necessary if you are using a system with good amount of RAM and then install so this is going to install the Fedora on our selected hard drive so installation process is complete now and it took me around 10 minutes so after that click on finish installation and next you have to restart your computer at the upper right corner power off so there you have restart restart and after this after your computer restarts you need to set up a name and password for your computer and I've skipped that part so you can just choose a computer name and you can select a password so here's our Fedora desktop with GNOME 40 the latest GNOME and in this way we can install Fedora 34 in our computer and if you still have some confusions you can comment down below I'll try to make that clear so I hope you like this video please like this video and subscribe our channel and thanks for watching